hi year two. I hope you're all okay and that you've had a fantastic day. Are you ready now to snuggle down and enjoy a story time with me? Brilliant. Right, today we're going to be reading Farmer Duck. Farmer Duck? <laughs> the author of this book is a man called Martin Waddle. <laughs> That's a good name, isn't it, for a duck story? And the illustrator, the lady that did the pictures, is a lady called Helen Oxenbury. And she does draw some pretty fantastic drawings. So let's have a read of Farmer Duck. There was once a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck did the work. The farmer stayed in bed all day. Can you see them? There's the duck. The farmer being lazy in bed with his chocolates, look. The duck fetched the cow from the field. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, whack. So there he is getting the cow in from the field. Duck doesn't look very happy, does he look? The duck brought the sheep in from the hill. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. The duck put the hens in their house. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. Let me show you the sheep first. And the hens. The farmer got fat through staying in bed and the poor duck got fed up with working all day. Oh my goodness, look at the farmer. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't do anything. How goes the work? Quack. 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 Oh my goodness, poor duck. Sawing the wood. Digging the vegetables. Washing up. And ironing. Oh, what a busy duck. How goes the work? Quack. How goes the work? Quack. What's he doing there? I think he's picking apples. Collecting the eggs. The poor duck was sleepy and weepy and tired. Hmm. I feel sorry for the little duck. The hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They loved the duck. So they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo, said the cow. Ma, said the sheep. Cluck, said the hens. And that was the plan. There they all are, making a plan. I wonder how they're going to help the duck. It was just before dawn and the farmyard was still. Through the back door and into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. They stole down the hall they creaked up the stairs. You see them all in the house. <laughs> they squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about. The bed started to rock and the farmer woke up and he called. How goes the work? <laughs> Can you see all the animals under the bed?
and oh, moo ba cluck. They lifted his bed and he started to shout and they banged and they bounced the old farmer about and about and about and right out of bed. Bump! Oh dear, the funny animals. And he fled with the cow and the sheep and the hens mooing and barring and clucking around him. The word fled means he ran went out of the house. All the animals are there chasing him, look. <laughs> Imagine the, the cow going, moo, moo, moo. <laughs> Down the lane, moo, through the fields, ba, over the hill, cluck. And he never came back. There he is being chased away. I scared him off. The duck awoke and waddled wearily into the yard expecting to hear, How goes the work? But nobody spoke. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens came back. Quack, asked the duck. Moo, said the cow. Ba, said the sheep. Cluck, said the hens. Which told the duck the whole story. And there they are telling him what's gone on. Then, mooing and barring and clucking and quacking, they all set to work on their farm. There they all are, helping each other. Oh, what a lovely end to the story. There's a lovely picture there of all the farmland around the farm. So, they got rid of the lazy old farmer. What a lazy man making the duck do all the work. How horrible. But it ended happily because all the animals felt sorry for the duck and they loved the duck, so they helped the duck out. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that story. I thought it was fab and I loved the pictures. Anyway, that's the end of story time. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Get a bit of rest ready for school again tomorrow. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Bye.